talked to a lot of offensive players yesterday. Uh -huh. Obviously, the, the defense is a lot more veterans like yourself. They may know more about the Packers Bears rivalry. Yeah. Now that you're one of the elder statesmen, are you teaching <laughs> Don't do these me young like kids that. Hold on. <laughs> elder statesmen. It's um, a young locker room. Uh, I don't even really think it's something that you necessarily get taught. Uh, it just, it, it kind of like, it just happens, you know? Uh, the atmosphere is different when you play certain games, kind of kind of that feel. Um, and then by then, you just, you're just locked into it, so it just becomes a thing. I don't really think like, and this is on both sides, like, we don't go home at night like, oh man, I hate the Bears, or, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just one of those things. Um, we know they're gonna play hard, we're gonna play hard too, so it'd be fun. Plus, I know the fans, they, they love it, because I feel like the beef's more so there than, you know, so. How important yeah. is it though, just because it's a conference of or like a division opponent to start mm -hmm. the season? How much more? Uh, important very important. Um, you know, you always want to, especially because it's game one. You know, you want always want to start the season on the right track. Uh, but even more so because it is a, a division opponent. You know, and um, you know those wins mean a little bit more. Um, however, you want to split that. You know, so. Yeah. Why do you think in your career you haven't lost? Oh, why do you think you've had success against that team? Uh, so I don't. I don't even. We don't really look, really look at it as far as like uh, individual teams. Honestly, uh, that's interesting now. Uh, you're right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I can't really put a finger on it. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just it's always a good game. That's a game we're always up for. You know, they're always up for it too. So it's just it's just good back and forth, just good battles. So. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm used to it, uh, kind of now. Um, obviously, I, I miss my guy or whatever, but, uh, you know, we've been through camp and, and preseason, um, you know, all that whole situation. So now it's just, it's natural. It feels good out there. So. What about going up against Robert and Big Dog? What's that going to be like? Well, that would be different, you know, uh, especially, you know, Robert. Me and Robert were pretty close. Uh, obviously, everybody around here loved Big Dog so much, so, um, you know, it'd be fun to compete against him as well. You know, uh, we know he's gonna bring it, so uh, we gotta be locked in. But you know, it's always that's the thing about this league. Uh, it's just you never know who you can play against, or you know, it's, it's just it's always fun. So um, it'd be cool. We talked to the edge rushers about the the challenges of Justin Fields, like con containing him. What about in the back end? What what are, what are the challenges for a guy that runs more? often at least than the traditional quarterback. Yeah, uh, well, for one, we got to keep our eyes right. We got to do our job first. Uh, it's all trust, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got to trust those guys up front that they're going to, you know, contain and, and do what they can to keep that guy in the pocket and, uh, you know, manage how much he gets out. And uh, in the back end, you know, when he does extend plays, we got to make sure that we stick on our coverage and, and, and stay on our job as well. So uh, it goes hand in hand. It just comes back to trust, really. Is that the same word that Jonathan used? Is that the Greek deal? One more time, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just one of those things. When you go out there, um, it's it's eleven guys at once. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a big team. Like we got you know fifty. How, how many is it? Fifty. Fifty three. Like to get if you really think about it, to get fifty three guys all on the same page, that's really tough to do. You know what I'm saying? So it all comes down to trusting each other and 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 kind of just uh, going back to the basics, really. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily something that's that's been preached, but uh, it's something that has to happen if you want to have success. What have you learned about openers? One, two, you've lost two. What's it take to succeed right away? Um, you really just got to be ready for everything, honestly. Uh, openers are always tricky because you you never necessarily uh, you never know how team because teams change every year. The league changes every year, you know. Um, Offenses change, defenses change, so you never really know what to expect. But the biggest thing is just keeping composure, and uh, when you're on the sideline, just communicating the right way, not you know getting frustrated or yelling or, or that kind of thing. Um, just staying together. And um, I think another thing, oftentimes, is just uh, it adapting to the game. It's it's a lot different than practice because of the amount of breaks and stuff you get as far as TV timeouts and that kind of thing. So just staying locked in, staying warm, that kind of thing. Uh, just kind of getting into the groove. So. What's your message to the rookies then going into their first game? Uh, to breathe. That's the main thing. Um, you get out there, you excited, you anxious. It's so many people. It's loud. Uh, you know, you feel that anticipation in the air. Um, and I always tell them, you got to check yourself, especially when we go out there for warm ups, because you'll be out there, you'll be, I'm a little tired, but you just got to breathe. You got to, you got to take that deep breath and, and recenter. So, uh, you know, just keeping them. You know, even killed and not too high, not too low. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Easier said than done. Were you able to take that own, your own advice and do that back as a rookie at Chicago? Uh, 
probably not as much as, as I should have. Uh, you know, some of those things, they, they grow with age, you know, just, uh, you know, learning yourself and, and uh, you know, how to refocus yourself and keep your composure, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm just passing that down to the young guys so, so they got a good idea of it.